five years ago, uh, if you ask people what is 3D printing, do you know what is 3D printing, they will say yes. But if you ask them, do you know what 3D printing will specifically do for your organization, they did not have an answer to that. So, m m mostly people were fascinated with the technology and the hype and uh, they really did not know how it will overcome the challenges that they are facing in their day-to-day -day applications of product development. Down the line, um, uh, as the technology developed, we started working closely with the customers on their applications. So 3D printing is just a tool, but we came out with winning applications that were not only in the prototyping stage, which is uh, one of the widest applications of 3D printing, but it went beyond into multiple other areas of adoption. Some new market areas also developed alongside like medical, where people realized that 3D printing could actually help in saving lives. Um, for example, I have some uh, parts here which have been 3D printed. This is a uh, uh, human heart uh, and uh, this represents the exact anatomy of the particular patient who might need a surgery uh, for some heart condition. So 3D printing actually if you uh, go back in the history, uh, the common terminology that was used for 3D printing in the early stages was rapid prototyping. Um, and that was the earliest area of adoption for this technology. Uh, people had some concept in mind, they wanted to look at a physical part as to how it would look like. Rather than spending money, time and efforts into traditional manufacturing process, they could actually just press the button of a 3D printer and get the part ready in a, in a few hours. So that was the first area of implementation of the technology. With time, people realized and uh, we, it was an experiential learning for us with our customers that this technology can move beyond the R&D and can be used in multiple other applications on the shop floor. Um, so we started working with customers uh, like Honda in India is a great example where we help them um, develop tools which are being used on their shop floors. And it is a paradigm shift from the time they were designing their uh, tools which were rather crude made of metal to something which is much more lighter, safer for uh, the workmen and also cheaper uh, and of course faster because it is being 3D printed and uh, right now those tools are running on the shop floor for the last one year and it has helped Honda save considerable amount of time and efforts in, in the way they manufacture their cars. People have been using uh, 3D printing with the knowledge of traditional manufacturing that they had. So what they were doing was they did not change their design. Instead of traditionally manufacturing, they started experimenting with uh, 3D printing. But later they realized that there is no constraint that 3D printing has. It can make uh, any topology, any kind of uh, complex features in a part without any difficulty. So there is no extra cost that you have to pay for complexity in the design with 3D printing as against traditional manufacturing processes. Then came a very important element into picture called design for additive manufacturing and that's where a lot of CAD companies have also invested mm -hmm. wherein they are providing tools to the designers to optimize their designs to function better for additive manufacturing. And that's an area which is playing a very important role today because when you have to use 3D printing to the full potential, you should also look, design, look at design for additive manufacturing. So that's one part and uh, we collaborate with all the leading CAD manufacturers in the world and um, their STL files are easily acceptable by uh, Stratasys 3D printers. The next is <clears throat> softwares that will help you optimize your 3D printing as a process. So scheduling, finding out where, how the job is running, management of the jobs one after the other and so on, for which we have our own applications through GrabCAD which is uh, um, revolutionizing the way people are 3D printing their products right now. In the year 2017 in July, uh, government came up with a regulation that all the uh, commercial vehicles have to be fitted with an air conditioner. Uh, they realized that fatigue was one of the major causes of the accidents that were occurring in the highway. So particularly the truck drivers were driving uh, their vehicles in very tough conditions, you know, from Jaisalmer to Jammu Kashmir to Kanyakumari, the, the conditions are too different and uh, uh, without an AC cabin it was uh, very tiring and uh, that was leading to uh, some uh, problems, uh, like I said, in terms of road safety, etc. So government said that they are mandating uh, the use of air conditioners in the cabins 
and they give uh, a deadline of July as uh, from sorry December uh, 17 mm -hmm. which is essentially about six months uh, to implement this change now this is very short cycle time for someone to really manufacture a complete product take it through its life cycle and then launch the vehicle by January 1st 2018 which was the date so how uh, Ashok Leyland used our technology was they made a rapid prototype of uh, the housing of the um, air conditioner uh, they mounted it on the vehicle, they ran the vehicle in their uh, um, test road and uh, for one month they did the evaluation and they found the design was satisfactory and they quickly moved to the next stage in production. Mm -hmm. So um, the metric that they have given to us is that um, instead of spending uh, three weeks in uh, developing some product, they did it in uh, three days. So that's the kind of time reduction that we give to them in developing that prototype. So this specific heart is made on a, a new technology from Stratasys called a DAP printer. So it's okay. a digital anatomy modeler. Okay. So uh, as against traditional uh, 3D printing, this gives you the touch and feel of a human tissue. What does it mean? Mm -hmm. It means that if there is a complex heart condition which needs to be solved and the uh, surgeon wants to practice it on, um, mm -hmm. on this okay. specific heart, he can actually cut this, practice the surgery, eventually it saves a lot of time during the surgical operation which is valuable both in terms of saving the life and the cost as well as uh, making sure that there is nothing that goes wrong in the surgery. So this is um, uh, a terrain model as you can see it, uh, so it captures uh, the details very vividly. Agencies like Survey of India could use it for um, uh, keeping land records. Okay. Um, these terrains could be used for warfare planning uh, by the uh, army and the air force because uh, today we have drones that will uh, capture the entire terrain, comes back as a file uh, which could be converted into a, a terrain model like the one that uh, you have in your hand right now. Some of our uh, large printers um, are already connected with the program called MTI Connect which gives you uh, real time information about the production processes. Um, as we work very, very closely with the um, aerospace um, as a domain, uh, I don't think there is any bigger domain which is process oriented, more process oriented than aerospace itself, which essentially means that we have to follow all the processes while we are designing aerospace parts. Uh, today, for example, Airbus A320XWB flies with 1000 3D printed parts in the cabin, which are done on strat uh, Stratasys okay. printers. So for that, we have very specific processes which our machine adheres to and that data is available to the manufacturer for the, the right amount of uses that they want to put it through. Is the speed. Okay. So the day we are able to manufacture thousands and thousands of parts mm -hmm. at a similar speed if not same as traditional manufacturing process, it will be a big value add. Uh, so today there is a defin definite areas of application of 3D printing where we say okay if it is up to batch production you should possibly look at 3D printing for mass production people still use uh, the traditional manufacturing process which actually is, the, is, is, is a good combination. Two is the amount of materials and the functionalities that they can use. So people don't want to get limited by the materials available uh, with the 3D printer but they actually want to experiment with the materials that they actually use in their design and manufacturing processes. So like I had said earlier this is a big area of understanding application and uh, development for um, uh, companies globally including Stratasys. Third will be the cost of course. If we have to democratize something cost plays an important role. Uh, we play a big role in industrial 3D printing but over there also cost is a parameter. So putting all these together, speed of the machine, the quality of the materials and the cost associated, I think these will be the key drivers uh, for 3D printing in the future.